Good morning, everybody. I'm reading Genesis 4, verse 9. Then the Lord said to Cain, where is Abel, your brother? He said, I do not know. Am I my brother's keeper? Cain had been in a very privileged position. The Lord had taken time to nurture a relationship with him. Even when Cain brought a wrong offering, the Lord graciously instructed him as to how he could do well in the future. He also directly warned him that sin was attempting to overcome him, but that he must not let that happen. He must rule over sin. But Cain failed to heed the warning. Entirely unnecessarily, he became consumed with envy, bitterness, and anger against his brother Abel. Then he killed him. Of course, the Lord knew this had happened when he asked Cain, where is Abel, your brother? But once more, the Lord was being gracious to Cain and giving him the chance to own up to his wrongdoing, perhaps fall on his knees and plead for forgiveness. But what an astonishing answer Cain gave the Lord. He blatantly lied. And to him, the one who's, who sees and knows all things. He showed no remorse whatsoever. Imagine what it must be like to murder another human being. But what if that person is your own brother? The one you grew up with, played games with, learned together with. Surely you would be in a, a, a state of shock at, at what you had done. One sense of guilt would be overwhelming, but not Cain. He showed a callous disregard for Abel. His whole outlook was focused on himself. Go through Cain's speeches from verse 9 to 14 and count. How many times Cain uses the words I, me, or my? I must admit, I find this story deeply shocking. It shows that sin has a terrible power when it is left unchecked. And it reveals the darkness a human soul can fall into if he fails to pay attention to God's word. And that is a sober lesson to all of us. Amen. Have a great day.